I was impressed by the ride the last time I reviewed a Challenger boat, 15 years ago or more. I'm still impressed. Challenger Boats have teamed up with Boat City and Auckland Marine Centre to invest in updated decks and hardtops, and also to ramp up production. The 720 hardtop is the largest Challenger in a lineup of five models, sold exclusively through Boat City and Auckland Marine Centre. The 720's fibreglass hull is solidly built in hand-laid GRP. It has no planing strakes, but it doesn't miss them. On the contrary, the sleek hull contributes to the boat's plush ride. The stylish new hardtop is relatively short, so the roof doesn't extend too far over the cockpit, and the design works very well aesthetically. The latest 720 HT looks well balanced, sleek and modern. The windscreens are now curved, and the headroom inside is generous. Challenger boats are known for being soft riding. The 720 HT's easily driven hull has a fine entry and 20 degrees of dead rise at the transom. While it trades off some stability at rest for good rough water handling, it's very stable underway, smooth and easy to drive. The Mercury Pro XS200 outboard provides spirited performance and a pleasing audio track from its 4.6 litre V8 powerhead. The model is rated for outboards up to 250 horsepower. Grey U-deck features on the cockpit sole, the transom and swim steps, with padded grey vinyl used for the gunnels, side pockets and rear backrest. There's a large bait table that mounts on the ski pole with two stainless steel rod holders across the back, two through combing rod holders either side of the cockpit and a rocket launcher. There's a large removable seat storage bin across the transom and battery switches in the fuel sight glass are tucked away in transom lockers. The step through and boarding ladder are on the starboard side. The hardtop features a vinyl roof lining and vinyl panels around large sliding glass side windows, plus an opening skylight for light and air. A backdrop cover is an option. The helmsman enjoys a deluxe soft rider pedestal seat, while the bucket seat on the port side is mounted back to back with an aft facing seat with storage in the moulded seat base. There's more storage in an underfloor locker and in the side pockets. The helm station can accommodate a 15 inch multifunction display, so the 12 inch Garmin MFD looked a bit lost among all that white gel coat. There was ample space for Mercury's vessel view instrument panel, the Maxwell capstan control, windscreen wiper switch and trim tab rockers. The VHF radio and the Fusion stereo system are mounted overhead with the remote VHF handset located within easy reach at the helm. The forward cabin features upholstered V-berths and side shells plus plenty of grey front runner. The lights are LED and there's provision for an electric flushing toilet between the berths. At the sharp end, accessed via the forward hatch or by sidling around the hardtop, there's a substantial stainless steel bow rail and rockner anchor snubbed tight to the moulded bowsprit. The solidly built 720HT is an easy boat to drive. Engaging Mercury and Marine's active trim makes it even easier, but I found manual trimming more rewarding. Hydraulic steering gives effortless control with good feedback, but the electric trim tabs were welcome, especially in a crosswind. At just under 4000 RPM, the 720HT cruised comfortably and economically at 24 knots, and the ride was just as smooth at 30 knots. This boat cuts through the water with a minimum of fuss, landing softly, the chines directing spray well away from the hardtop. Transition onto the plane comes at around 12 knots and we achieved a top speed of 39 knots, faster with more horsepower. With a 270 litre underfloor fuel tank, the 720HT offers a decent range. The boat was supplied on a tandem axle multi-roller Voyager trailer, braked on one axle with LED lights. The rig tows well and is easy to launch and retrieve. With its range, excellent ride, safe handling and the protection of a hardtop, the 720HT can tackle offshore fishing and diving, or commuting to and from the family batch, but it's equally at home providing family boating fun. John Acklesome from Boating New Zealand, thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.